Ever wonder why the intimidating cruisers of the past have practically vanished from the seas right now? Most navies even chose the frigate instead. The main reason we don't see many cruisers these days comes down to the massive price tag. Cruisers are huge. They usually weigh in at over 10,000 tons, which means you need special docks, giant crews, and a mountain of cash just to keep them running. On the flip side, frigates are way easier on the wallet and much simpler to build in bulk. Technology has also changed the game quite a bit. Back in the day, if you wanted a powerful ship, it had to be big enough to carry heavy armor and giant guns. But now, it's all about smart missiles and high-tech sensors. Even a smaller frigate can pack a punch with modern vertical launch systems and advanced radar. Since a tiny missile can take out a massive ship, having a huge hull for protection just isn't the advantage it used to be. Another big plus for frigates is that they're just so handy. Most of what navies do today, like stopping pirates, helping out after disaster, or guarding a coast, doesn't really need a cruiser's heavy firepower. Frigates are the ultimate jack-of-all-trades. They can hunt submarines, defend against planes, or act as an escort. Plus, because they don't sit as deep in the water, they can go into shallow areas where a big cruiser would get stuck. We also have to talk about how destroyers have changed. Modern destroyers, like the ones used by the US or China, have grown so big and capable that they're basically cruisers in disguise. These heavy destroyers now handle the big leadership roles and high-end defense tasks that used to be a cruiser's specialty. Since destroyers take the lead and frigates handle the day-to-day -day work, the classic cruiser just doesn't have a specific job left to do. Finally, navies have realized that it's smarter to spread their power across a lot of smaller ships. But if you have a bunch of frigates, the fleet stays tough and can cover way more ground. It's all about staying resilient. Losing one frigate is a bummer, but it won't ruin the mission. In the 21st century, having more ships usually beats having just a few big ones.